Welcome back to the uh, Barber's Arms hairstyling tutorials. In this video we have Josh and as you can see he has rather long hair. Um, so mainly what we're going to be showing you is how to cut long hair um, and then we're kind of not really going to style it, we're going to put a cream in it and let it dry naturally. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to be going through the beard, taking that down and uh, shaping that. When you have long hair and you tend to tie it up quite a bit or pull it back or whatever, the edges tend to break. So what you end up is with this frizziness. Okay, we'll be tidying it up and shaping it around the edges so it looks sharp. So if you tie it up, you don't have all these bits poking out the bottom. Um, also, with long hair, if you're cutting the hair, if it touches the back of the chair, it's very important you get the customer to stand up. Otherwise, what that does is that increases elevation and creates layers through the bottom. But as Josh's doesn't, the chair's down here, we can cut it while he's sitting down. Okay, so now we've separated the hair, we've separated it into four blocks. We've got two sides, one top, and this is the back of the hair. That just keeps it clean, keeps it neat, and uh, stops you overcutting certain areas. What we're gonna do is just put the chin down, and we're gonna comb the hair down to the bottom. Now, I don't necessarily want straight lines through this hair, uh, but we want it all in one place. We're taking about an inch and a half off. Right. So what I'm gonna do is I'm cutting in straight lines from my finger, but chopping into the hair, as you can see. It's not a straight scissor cut. Creates texture through the bottom, just breaks it up and it lets it sit more naturally. just clipped it on the other side and like I said when you tie the hair up it tends to break as you can see this is all shorter around here. Now what I'm not doing is I'm not going in and I'm not creating a straight line around because I want it to look natural but also I don't want to take any long hairs away um, otherwise the line will just keep creeping up and you end up losing length. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to go around the ears and around the hairline and just remove all these but also just taper it up just slightly um, just so it softens the edges and tidies. edges and the sides. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to run a cream through the hair. It's like quite a light cream, not too much hold, so the hair's not going to go rock solid. But what it will do is it will just control the flyaways and uh, help condition the hair slightly. So a very small amount and you put it through damp hair, like quite, you know, damp, moderately wet. And that just helps dilute the hair and run it through the hair evenly, or dilute the product, sorry. Right, so what we're doing, using your fingers as combs and you're just letting that hair touch the palms of your hands and you just run it through like that you know start at the mid lengths work it towards the ends and then go forward to the roots just so that you're not using too much and you're not going straight through the top and making it look greasy and then you let it dry naturally. So now that we've run the cream through Josh's hair and uh, we've finished cutting that, we're gonna move on to the beard. Now, with the beard, you can tell that it's very thick, right? What we're gonna do is we're gonna join these up, right? So it starts out 
shorter. Move it down, taper it in around the neck. But what we're doing is we're gradually increasing the length as we go forward and taking this bell cut underneath so we get more shape to it. So it's longer towards the chin area. Bearing in mind we're keeping the front longer so we haven't taken too much off just so it comes down, creates the shape. But with Josh, we don't have any desire to grow the moustache. So what I'm doing is we're combing the moustache down. Right. And then we're going to be going along the lip line. Tidying it up. Right. And then what you do just go up and pick it up and just shorten the length of the top hairs as well so there's not too much bulk. And that is how you cut long men's hair and then shape the beard as well. Thank you for watching.